Let's talk about the collective curveball. The idea that life comes around and sometimes throws us a curveball. Sometimes it's a personal one, sometimes it's a collective one. And I'm calling it the collective curveball because we're kind of in this position of uh, not really knowing, not really understanding fully. We're in this in between. And so it's like we've been thrown a curveball. But the concept is as above, so below. So just as above, collectively, we're being thrown a curveball. Many of you might also be experiencing that personally you're being thrown a curveball as well. Maybe the things that you're wanting to make happen and the directions you're wanting to go aren't happening. There's a stall, there's a shift, there's a shift in direction. There's always purpose in curveballs. There truly is, no matter how hard it is for our human ego to try and wrap ourselves around it, there's always purpose in the reasons why. And most of the time that's gonna come in and explain itself retrospectively, meaning after a series of events have occurred, then you'll be able to look back and say, that's why this and this and this and this and this happened. So the idea is when life throws you a curveball or there is a collective curveball, is pull yourself back a moment before you get caught up in the ego aspect, in the frustration, in the questioning, in the anger, in the whatever it may be, and just consider for a moment that this will all make sense retrospectively. The stuff that you're questioning and wondering and not understanding will make sense retrospectively and there's grace in that. And that's a really important word that when we're thrown a change, when we're thrown something like this, is to embody grace as much as possible, not just for others and for your interactions in the world, but for yourself. Embody grace in your heart because if you can give yourself grace within that uh, topsy-turvy feeling, then you can find time to come to terms with the emotions, the energies, the questions, the uncertainty, and find peace with it. Because in grace, we can find peace. And when we live in peace, then we can start to live in harmony with what the universe has to offer for us, and what the universe can offer us. So if you're feeling like there is a curveball coming your way or it has come your way, Find the grace within. Find that safe sanctuary for self that you can rest assured that you will understand at some point in retro retrospect. So for you to worry about it right now is just taking energy away from grace. So I'll leave that with you, something to ponder, and I'll be back soon.